Hello, I'm Kenny from Owlbot, here today under quarantine within the black void to talk about the new owl color picture profile that we've released for the C500 Mark II. Uh, we released one of these for the C100 Mark II, and uh, you know that was developed over five years of using that camera, and people were really excited about it. Uh, and they were asking for a C500 version, and so since I've had a little bit of time on my hands recently, I decided to... Uh, put together a new version for the C500. Um, so that's what I did. Like the first version, but with more detail involved, I set up an Alexa and the C500, pointed them at a color chart, and then with as best I could within the C500, matched the two images using a vector scope. In the C100 version, we did a lot of gamma adjustments, and I haven't done that with the C500 because those were made because of the 8-bit codec. codec and we don't have that problem here. So this is all just color adjustments. There's actually two profiles that I'm putting out. Uh, one is the owl color picture profile. It's C-Log2, you know, it, it's, it's for grading afterwards. Um, but I remember when I put the C100 version out, a lot of people, part of the thing that people liked was that it was kind of good to go as is, so you could hand that footage off. And um, obviously that's not the case with something that you shoot um, in log usually. So I also have a 709 profile, which I'm using now. Um, and that uh, is more, you know, set it and forget it, hand it off. But this was also built off of the uh, RE um, Canon shootout, whatever you want to call it. Um, so they're both RE based with a little bit of adjustments. And then obviously you're not going to look exactly like an Alexa. Um, but it gets you a little bit more in line with that color response if that's what you're into. Fun fact, this video is not only using the 709 profile that we've made, but it's also recording, the, you're, you're watching the proxy version. So a tip that I've learned and told people about is uh, if you take out the CF Express card, um, but set the camera to shoot raw, it will still shoot the proxies. So for web stuff like this, um, that's great for me. So yeah. Just thought I would let people know about that. There's also some LUTs, uh, some LUTs that I threw in there um, for fun. Uh, in the in, if you buy the picture profile, they'll just come with it. There's uh, an Alexa LF match, which same thing. Uh, took an LF, took a C500, shot color chart, and then in Resolve using the versus curves, matched them up. So that's available for you. There's also the Owl Color V3 LUT, which people said they liked from the C500 number one test that we did. Uh, and that's actually similarly RE based, but uh, intended as a compliment to the owl color picture profile. Um, all of which, by the way, there's a readme in the zip file. So if you don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, it'll, it'll tell you how to install it. So uh, just a brief, wanted to let you guys know about that because people have been asking and I had this kind of time. So, uh, that's it for me in the void. I uh, hope you're doing well, and I hope the tools that we're providing um, are helpful to you because that's why we make them. Uh, that's it. Take it easy.